everybody, it's Monica from Pear Tree Treasures, and this is part two of the Stack It Collab Hop. There is me and 11 other awesome ladies that are doing different projects, four different projects. Uh, this is week two, and the project for today is I'm going to just give a show and tell of my book, Stack It Collab, okay? So this is the Stack It Books. Um, what I did was I used the foil quill along the edges here. This is um, artisan cardstock. Um, I also used the Nouveau embellishment mousse. I applied, I'll show you. So here, I put the embellishment mousse on the edges, just like a gilded book, right? I use this brush. These things are the best, by the way. And if you guys are looking for them, I can, any of this, if you're looking for it, I'm going to put a link down below for each of the items. In case you guys are interested, uh, yeah. This is the foil. Now, when you buy this foil quill, this little tube, there's actually three little tubes, and I seem to have misplaced the other two. Oh, no, here they are. So you get three colors in it. And they're so pretty. All right, so this is for use with the Silhouette or the Cricut or the Scan, I think Scan and Cut as well. You can use it with anything. It's got the little adapters in it and uh, it's pretty awesome. Pretty darn nifty. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to show you what I have here. Um, put that aside. Now, this week was the Stack It Collab book stack. Okay, so what I did, I can't wait to see what all the other ladies did, but what I did was I made these, um, you know, going with the Christmas theme. It's November, but you can apply this to any time of year. You just change the spine on the book. Okay? So that's what it looks like there when it's, so I'm, Obviously, I'm on my desk, so, and then you can fit these inside of your bookshelf, right? All my bookie friends out there, they might like this. And, okay, so all the rage right now is like the book nooks. So, yeah, this is kind of like a book nook. So, this paper that I used here is authentic, and I can also put a link to that uh, in my store if it's not up. Today, it should be up by uh, Tuesday. I'm closed on Sundays and Mondays, and let me tell you, I got a lot of physical labor to be doing this weekend. So, okay, so that's the book. All right. And the measurements on this book, I will tell you really quick here. Let me get my ruler. The measurements, well, I'm going to go inches for everybody. So, the book cover is five and three quarters by... Uh, eight and a half and that's the outside of the book and then the inside are you ready <laughs> so I put these magnets here oh I hope the glue's dry sorry people <laughs> on the inside I put little magnets okay and I made it into a stashy box oh pating there goes my phone sorry <laughs> So yeah, and I put some magnets here. I did it just like I would a book, like a mini album. All right, I did all three exactly the same, just so you know. Um, I love this paper. It's like tooled leather pattern on it. And then on the inside, my favorite is Paisley. So I basically just did the cover for a mini album and I didn't put any pages in. And then I created this faux box I guess you should say bottom part of a box um, and then I just lined it with the matching paper here and oddly enough the measurements I did not even plan for this this was one sheet of paper which was nice right because you're hiding the paper underneath there and I wanted it to glue pretty hard onto this chipboard cover right so I didn't put paper underneath but I lined it up perfectly top and bottom to give the illusion of it going underneath, okay? And you can put all kinds of nifty stuff in here. So you can put 
little trinkets. You can hide your things in the bookshelf with it. You can put certain pictures. So pictures fit in here perfectly. Um, you could actually make a little mini album if you wanted to and slide that in there as well, right? And you'll notice that uh, this stuff here is off the same roll. Sorry, it's really shiny. It's really cool, actually. So this stuff is the same, the leftovers that I had from doing this on the Silhouette Machine. So see how shiny that is? It's just like an antique book. And I was going to antique it, I thought about it, but not right now. So again, I put the magnets on here and I just mounted them to the inside. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I don't know if you can see that. So I just used a leftover construction strip that I used to build the box on the inside. And <clears throat> I got to tell you, lining this up was quite the chore. So yeah, that's a whole other deal. Good luck with that. Just saying. <laughs> and what I did, so I put score tape down on top of these just to make it kind of blend. Because I didn't want to put it under the paper because I really wanted it to close really well. So every time you put paper over top of magnets, it it lessens the power of the magnet, for lack of a better intricate kind of tacky word. Lessens the power. There you go. That's it. So, yeah, and what I did with the Nouveau is I just rubbed it on this. This is just black chipboard, okay? So isn't that nice? And the Nouveau rub is nice and shiny too, right? So there you have it. And then it just closes, right? Like that. And it looks like the gilded paper when you get an old book and it has that gilding, right? So that's it, guys. I hope you guys have fun on the hop. All the links below will be to the other awesome crafty ladies. Okay? And you'll notice, too, hello, I did A Christmas Carol, The Little Match Girl, and Little Women. So that was my Christmas-related addition to this project. Right? So, because they all involve Christmas. Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hey, subscribe, hit the like, uh, hit the little bell so you don't miss anything because I'm pretty sure I might be doing a tutorial for this on the Silhouette Machine because I now have a camera that I can swing around and show you guys how to do it. So have a great hop. Thanks, everybody, and have a wonderful Sunday, okay? Bye for now.